Cardinal's a good guess, but not the correct answer. Anybody else? Yes, in the back. Turkey. You're getting closer. You're getting closer. You're in the right family. A rooster. There's a winner, a rooster. No, but you have to explain why it's important. I've called the national bird. I don't think it's officially going to be the national bird. <laughs> uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, are you? If you're not, if you're, if you want a darker shirt, I got another one for that too. So, uh, you guys can think of a question when we're done. I got another shirt to give away, but you think the question. So after we're done. So um, let me start here uh, with Grace Garnett. Uh, Grace went to uh, Saint Etienne in the uh, fall of 2013. And is a what kind of major are you? International in? business. International business major. I should know that. Uh, I won't blank up here. And so she has stories to tell about her visit uh, in the fall of '13. And then in, in next person is the organizer of this panel, Adrian Guidon, and he's here from uh, from Saint Etienne. He's from originally from Lyon, correct? Yeah. And is also studied in Peru and Portugal. In addition to. Um, Maybe that should be our question. Who knows the most languages up here? Probably. We'll have to see. So that's Adrian. And then we have Alexander Kipacho. Kipacho? Kipachoi? Okay. Kipachoi, third time's a charm. Also, this semester, uh, here for the first time from, from St. Etienne School. And we'll be here again next semester, as well as Adrian. So they're here for the whole year in a dual degree program. Another thing that's kind of unique about this program, be able to earn a second degree in the process if you stay for two semesters. And then last but not least is Catherine Powers, the pioneer woman of the St. Etienne program. The first student to go in St. Etienne in the spring of 2013 and uh, at the time international affairs major. Mm -hmm. Still? No, I changed the psychology. Okay, psychology <laughs> major, but honor student, um, again, went all by herself, first time ever to the school, came back, I'll uh, hear her stories as well. So. I'm going to turn over to the panelists. Do you have an order you'd like to go in, or? No. Yeah, let me kind of have. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. thanks everybody to be here. First of all, so my name is Adrian. Uh, I come from France, and after I graduated from high school, I chose Saint Etienne Business School because it was business school. It's just a business school. It's different from real estate. We teach, teach everything. Just a business school, which focuses on international business. So basically, it's the first year of my studies. I've been in France studying business basics. The things you need to know to do anything in business. And at the first semester, which is fall of my second year, it was last year, I decided, I decided to go in an exchange program in Peru, in the University of Lima. So at 19, I left France and my family to go across the, the Atlantic and to study and to learn more than I used to do Spanish. So that has been my first experience abroad and that was a great thing I did. That's something I really enjoyed. And yeah, that's it basically. So I did six months in South America to study. I came back in France for three months in my school, in South Asian Business School. Business again. I studied business for three months. I did a semester, and then I had the opportunity to do uh, an internship in Portugal in international logistics. So I left France again to live in Portugal, in Porto, which is the second city of Portugal. I've been learning a lot about logistics there, about the things I want to do later, and I've been learning a bit of Portuguese there too. So that was six months ago, and then my school gave me the opportunity to come to Murray State for a dual degree program. So basically, I'm coming here for one year, and at the end of the year, I'm going to get my French diploma, which is a bachelor in international business, and I'm going to get, after my business administration bachelor. So that's it since today. Um, maybe I'll let you present yourself, and then I'll do the rest after. Um, so I'm doing the same thing to Daz. Uh, the biggest difference is the destination I've been to. Uh, what he didn't say, I think it's like, because we are doing an, an international business program, we have to spend half of our studies abroad. Then the, the 
first year was um, an introduction of every uh, business class we could get. The second year was um, we, we had to spend a whole semester abroad, so it should uh, Peru. And I chose uh, Sweden, which was not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, for the last year, we had to pick um, a country to get a double diploma. So we chose the United States, since uh, it's in America. And, you know, uh, we would like uh, an American diploma, so we came here. Well, that's it. <laughs> yeah, the thing is that our um, our program gave us the opportunity to to travel all around the world for our first exchange program. So there were destinations in South America, in North America, all the, all Europe, China, Korea. So we had the opportunity to go wherever we wanted to. For the internship, it was up to us. So it depended of where we found the internship. I found an internship in Portugal. That interests me because I wanted to learn a bit of Portuguese and that was the field I wanted to work. Uh, Alex went to Malaysia. So everyone's going to different places. We choose, it's up to us. For the third year, we had the opportunity to go to Murray State. We had the opportunity to go to ma many universities in the UK. So we build our program and we go basically wherever we want to go. So we just basically pick a destination regarding of what we want to do. Some people didn't speak Spanish, they spoke German, so they went to Germany for the first semester. Uh, that's, that's the biggest difference we have. And as Alex said, we have to spend half our program abroad, which is a three years program, so we spend one, we're gonna spend one year and a half abroad. That's it. Um, Want to say something about your um, yeah, sure. I went to Santorina um, in the fall of 2013, and I just did one semester. And um, you, you always have heard like how much education is different there. They do so much travel, so much internship, and it's like we focus a lot on like the college life and the student life and everything on campus. While theirs is more off campus, and there's not really a campus at all. It's a building that you go to. And so that was really different and interesting to me. But it was a really good experience just to go somewhere. And I was taking all business classes that transferred back for my major. So I didn't lose any time. And I got to pay Murray State tuition. So I didn't really lose any money that way either. So it was really great to get to do that and also get the things I needed. Um, and Catherine, you should talk about it too, because she was actually the first person to go over to um, Ann City. So you should talk about it. <laughs> um, well, so I went to San Etienne in the spring of 2013, which is actually my second semester in college, so as a freshman. So, um, you know, if you're really ambitious, that's an option. Um, and yeah, it was it was really different. Like the whole the the whole school culture there is very different from in the U.S. They focus a lot on group work um, in the classes. Like everything is group work, uh, you do things as a team, not, you know, individually, um, which is really different for me. But it was a really, yeah, it was a really good experience to get to, um, you know, experience a different culture and, you know, like fully immerse in that culture. I'm going to talk right now about the aspects of being uh, an exchange student, which all of us did. So basically, as I said, my first exchange was in Peru, in Lima. I was living in the capital of Peru. So at first it was, it was it's something weird because you're scared about leaving your family, leaving your country when you're 19. Uh, going in a country, you don't speak the language. I spoke, I learned Spanish at high school, at college, but I was not speaking it enough to, to get a conversation and to live in the country, so I went there, my Spanish was not great, but I went with a friend, and I think that helped me a lot. But that was, I have to say, that was one of the best experiences I ever had, because for many points, I found myself a traveler, I 
discovered that I would love to travel. Actually, after I finished my semester, I've been traveling from Peru to Brazil for one month, backpacking, and I've, I just loved it. Um, when you travel, away, when you're doing an internship, you, met, you meet a lot of new people, and that's something awesome. You may have found wherever you're from. Every day you meet new people from X country, from, and that's something really open-minded. Uh, I have to say that living in another country and studying in another country, it basically opened your mind. There was something, I don't know how to explain it, it's something you have to live, but to do it quick, you learn a new language, you discover a new culture, and you get used to that culture, so you find yourself acting differently. For example, the first day to class we went was at, at 2 p.m., so we went at 1.45. We discovered that people in Peru were not going at time. So day by day, we, we arrived 30 minutes later. And going back in France, we were still doing it. So you get used to new practices, and that's something really open-minded. Another thing that you learn, I took from class that were basically the same in France, in Peru. And I thought that would have been boring, but that's really interesting, because you learn from another point of view. So the French are going to tell you to go this way by group work. Peruvian are going to tell you that you need to do this and this before, which is totally different. So after, when you be working, you'll know, for example, two, three different approaches. You'll know that people from this country are going to do it this way. People from America are going to do it this way. People from South America are like this, so you, know, you need to go like this. Uh, some things that we have to explain, which is important for you, you may not know, is that in Europe since the 1990s, there's a program which is called Erasmus, and which allows you to travel all around Europe. And the government of Europe, if you can call it like this, give you tuition, it pays you to, to travel, it pays your, basically your fees to travel. So that's something really grateful for people of our generation in Europe. And actually, it's something most executive, most people that are studying at university did in Europe. Most of the students, when they are in masters, already have been studying and living in another, in another country for one year. So that's something that's beginning. That's not as expensive as you can think that would be. And that's something that gives you a lot, really, that when you go, when you leave, and when you come, you basically not just send me. You, you learn a lot of things. You learn how to do things by yourself, because there is nobody to help you. You're in, in a foreign country, so people don't speak your language. So that's something formative, really. Um, what else? You, after this, you, so you know, you learn new languages if you can. And you, as I said, you will know how to approach people, how to, how to act, how they do. That was something we're going to explain later, the gap between, well, for example, France and the USA. I was thinking France, USA was not that different. It was Occidental country, rich countries. They're behaving this, their behavior is, is basically the same, but it's not at all. First time we arrived here, we found people and we're trying to communicate the same way that in France we do. That's something you can't do it here. People won't understand if you do something you do in France. They won't understand. About being an exchange student, that's what I have to say, basically, is that something I would recommend to anybody that can. Yeah, I think Grace agrees with me. Yeah, Alex, too. But always something really enjoy. That's a great time for you, and you don't lose time, because actually you're going abroad, but you get credits for what you you have something to add? Yeah, I, I definitely agree. I think that um, going abroad, it was a really great opportunity that I got, and it allowed me to learn a lot about myself um, because I'm not going to lie, it was really hard to go abroad by myself as the first one in this program with nobody else, um, nobody else from my school there and, you know, survive by myself. It was, 